Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic MTG. And today I've got a one of every master set booster pack opening. Let's get into it. Um, thanks for joining me today. If you're into this kind of stuff, be sure to give me a like. Subscribe if you would like. Comment down below. Anyway, here we go. Modern Masters 2015 edition with the paper zipper pack. And the pack order is like that. So we got a token. There we go. Any good commons in this set? Vines of Vastwood's pretty decent. Mutagenic Growth is a good uncommon. Demir Aqueduct, might check that one too. Lower Scale Codal and Eye of Ugin. Legendary Land, Colorless Eldrazi spells you cast cost two less to cast. You pay seven and tap to search a library for colorless creature card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shelf your library. And for the foil, got a Glass Dusk. Glass Dust Hulk. Say it five times fast. I have Ugin. Let's see. Let's scan it up here. My handy dandy scanner. It's not an Omnibian. What happened there? Sometimes the TCG player app does some funny stuff. So I have Ugin, 882. Off to a good start. Let's scan these uncommons here. Demir, Aqueduct. It's okay. Mutagenic Growth. A little better. Buck 31 and a Vines of Vastwood. It's a buck. There we go. So, next up, 2017. The Ground Assault. Electromancer. Crippling Chill. Coiling Oracle. Uncommons. Gruel Signet. Putrefy, Baloth Cage Trap, and the rare is Olivia Voldaren from Mythic. 3-3 uh, three, three Legendary Creature Vampire for 4. It's got flying and uh, you pay 1 in red. It'll deal 1 damage to another target creature. That creature becomes a vampire in addition to its other types. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on Olivia Voldaren. And you can pay 5, 3 and 2 black, to gain control of target vampire for as long as you control Olivia. Very cool, and a foil slaughter horn. Olivia is 385. There we go. I don't think those were anything. Original Modern Masters. 2013. Dust Wasp, Goblin, Pepper Smoke, Fury Charm, and a Morphos. Now there's a get on common right there. Scan that one up. 941. That goes in the good pile. Tide Hollow Sculler. Might be over a buck. It is. Reach of Branches and a Miloku, the Clouded Mirror. 2445. Legendary Moonfolk Wizard. It's got flying. Pay one. Return a landing control to its owner's hand and put a 1 1 blue illusion creature token with flying onto the battlefield and a foil figure of destiny. Not bad. There's a buck. Um. Sure, it's a rare pile. Figure of Destiny and a cool worm token. So the figure with a different version and in foil is two bucks. There we go. Worm token. All right, Ultimate Masters. It's so ultimate. Okay, hold on. Got to do the pack side opening thing that always confounds me. Don't pretend like it never happens to you either. All right, Elemental token. A Gurmag Angler in foil and a Golkari Grave Troll. So it's 0-0 zero, zero for 5. Troll Skeleton. It enters the battlefield with a 1-1 counter on it for each creature card in your graveyard. Pay 1 to remove a 1-1 uh, one -one counter from the troll and regenerate it. And it's got Dredge 6. So if only it were legal, you could use it for your Dredge deck. So that's why it's only a buck eighty-five. All right, Ancestors Chosen, Garn of the Blood Flame, and Hero of Lena Tower. Nothing big there. I'll just take a quick look. Foil, not in foil, is really nothing much. And I think that's it for commons there. Okay. And yes, I do a Modern Horizons pack in the Masters opening set. Feel free to argue about it down below. They always do. 
Zombie token. Cool vanishing lion. Ephemerate. Snow covered island, which I'll just put right here. And Merit Lages Slumber. Legendary snow enchantment for two. Whenever it or another snow permanent enters the battlefield under your control, scry one. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control ten or more snow permanents, get Merit Lage out. Legendary 2020 black avatar creature. Token with flying and indestructible. Very cool. And, oops, won't scan that. 50 cents. Oops, it's a rare. Put it here. Ice Eyed Golem. Vesper Lark and a Conifer Worm. I'm going to scan the Vesper Lark. It's nothing. Pondering Mage. Very cool callback to Ponder, but I don't think these are really worth much. There it is. Okay, Iconic Masters next. Butcher's Glee. Heat Ray. Fury Charm. Distortion Strike, which since this was reprinted, it's brought the price of the other one down quite a bit, so I'm going to pull it anyway. Palladium Mirror Enlarge and Yose the Morning Star. Legendary Dragon Spirit, 5-5 five, five for 6. It's got flying. When it dies, target player skips his or her next, next untap step. Tap up to 5 target permanents that player controls. And a foil rare, Curse of Predation. Buck 24 there. Foil Curse of Predation is an enchantment aura for 3. Enchant player. Whenever a creature attacks, enchanted player, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Sure. It's probably good for a good commander card, right? Yep, it's been reprinted in Commander sets. Iconic Masters version for foil is a whole dollar. There we go. Masters 25. Whoops. Empire Lacerator. And again, I do like the, the set symbol in the text here. Stronghold. You can tell where it came from. Uh, Planar Chaos. Uh, champions, right? Dark, Dark Steel, Scourge, Shadowmoor, <laughs> Presence of Gauntlet is a good card, I should probably scan it. Um, did I miss any others while I was looking at the set symbol? I'm going to just move on. Gross and Colossus, Simeon Spirit Guy, that's a pickable one. Quicksand, and the rare is a Sundering Titan. For 8, it's a 710 artifact creature golem. Uh, when Sundering Titan enters the battlefield or leaves the battlefield, choose a land of each basic land type, then destroy those lands. And a full Nyx Fleece Ram, that's pretty solid too. 65 cents. Foil Nyx Fleece Ram. Is $1.99. And a Simeon Spirit Guide. Is $2.68. And a Presence of Gond is a lot less than I thought it was, but I'll put it there. All right, Eternal Masters, last but not least. Can I pull something actually good out of this pack? Carrion Feeders, a pull. Emissary, Bloodfill Caves, Curd Ape. Deep Analysis. Gitu Slinger, Annihilate, Ticking Gnomes, and Nevinerol's Disc. For four? It blows up everything. Enters the, play, the battlefield tapped. You pay one to destroy all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. And that's reset the game pretty much at that point. So for a couple bucks, a solid commander staple there, right? Rugged Highlands in foil. And that is it. So, oops, we'll do the carrying feeder. It's really not that much either. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and opening some packs with me. Uh, make sure to check out my other videos, and I'll catch you later.